Hello there, my name is Adrian Bakhtar and this is my ME2900 prototype project called the Electro Set. All of the pads that you see on this board represent a different part of the drum set. We have the hi-hat, snare drum, tom, floor tom, crash, and ride cymbal. But as you can hear, none of the sounds of the drums can be heard. But right now I will explain how I get the drum sounds to be outputted. Uh, underneath each drum pad, I have a piezo sensor, which is a pressure sensor. That is what I'm using to detect whenever each pad has been struck. All of the piezo sensors for the drum pads are connected to the analog pins of an Arduino Mega. In my Arduino sketch, I have these analog pins set. Each pad has a specific MIDI note that is associated with it. These notes represent the different drums in the Easy Drummer uh, drum simulator, which is what I'm using to get the drum sounds to come out. For instance, the closed hi-hat has a note of 22. So if we look in the Arduino sketch, uh, the piezo sensor connected to pin A1 has the MIDI note 22 associated with it. So the same thing applies for all the other drums to get the snare, tom, and crash and ride symbols to get outputted. So to get the Arduino to be able to communicate with the Easy Drummer program, I first have to make the Arduino be able to be recognized as a MIDI device, which is a device that can create and control sound. So right here, um, the Arduino is a MIDI device with the name of Cable E1. The next thing, I had to download a program called the Hairless MIDI Serial. This acts like a virtual cable that lets the Arduino, which is now set as a MIDI device, be able to communicate with the Easy Drummer program. So we'll just make sure that everything is correct there. In the Easy Drummer program, I just have to go in the settings and make sure that under MIDI device, cable E1, which I created over here, is selected. Make sure that the changes are saved. So now everything is set in place. Whenever I hit the drum pads now, you should be able to hear the sounds. Some additional features of this prototype, I've got an LCD display that counts how many times I hit the drum. I've got a speaker that is connected to an MP3 module that reads an SD card. Uh, it contains three songs, and this LED, whenever it's green, it tells you that the SD card is able to be read, and whenever the SD card is not able to be read, the LED turns red. To access uh, the songs, I've got three buttons on this side. Uh, you just have to press it and then the song will play on the speaker. So the purpose of this was to select a song, play it, and then uh, play along to it with the drums. However, I'm using a Dell computer to do this project and the audio drivers on the Dell computer aren't the best, so as you could have heard, whenever I hit the pad, there's a bit of a delay. It doesn't sound like much now, but whenever you're playing along to a song, uh, it's very clear. And just so I can show you that it works, whenever I press the button, the song name is displayed on the LCD display, and it is played through the speaker. Another thing I forgot to mention, uh, I was able to make the pads velocity sensitive since I was getting analog values outputted from contact with the piezo sensor. So if we look at the snare drum, here's a loud sound for a hard hit, and here is a softer sound from a softer hit.